shall we? Yes, sir. Well, oh, 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 hello. You know, now it has really become a habit of me memorizing stuff. It started with Andrew Huberman. Been doing that for, well, since 10 months. And now I am memorizing this book. Obviously not word for word. I only memorized uh, the most important stuff. I really have to <laughs> limit myself um, because now when I review you know old stuff because I want it to be in my long-term memory and it really takes up a lot of time meaning minimum one and a half hours pure one and a half hours excluding breaks I know sometimes I ask myself what the hell are you doing bro <laughs> Man, you gotta make videos. You got to, you know, improve your skill set there. And I do. Like, that's why I say, you know, after this book, I don't want to, like, you know, memorize another book because that will just take me a lot of time. But the reason why I'm memorizing all of these things, you know, with Andrew Huberman and now with uh, Young Forever by Dr. Mark Hyman, by the way, highly recommend it from me by me. Now whatever I say, I can back it up with science. Now that doesn't necessarily mean that I will back up every statement uh, with science because maybe some things are just really unique to my situation. Today is the 1st of July 2023 and I have made the decision to script every single day for the next three years. Why? do I make such a challenge is because of the book, The War of Art. Is it called The War of Art? Yes, The War of Art. <laughs> In that book, he says, if you want to, you know, take this serious, serious, seriously, professionally, you got to show up every single day, man, even if you don't feel like it. And since I have gained this momentum and I have really been prioritizing on my mind and I have been exercising and really self-reflecting a lot, I'm ready. I said this three videos ago that I'm ready for storytelling videos and yeah, I just had to memorize things. <laughs> I mean, now I can say confidently <laughs> that in tomatoes. <laughs> God. Now I can confidently say that in tomatoes, there's lysopene. <laughs> that in tomatoes, there's lysopene. See, you didn't know that. You didn't know that. <laughs> anyway, it's very interesting to know like the phytochemicals that are in each vegetable. Now when I like eat, I literally say, oh, I know what's in there. Oh. I know what's in there. Oh, I am eating sulforaphane. Yeah, that's how my brain functions. But in all seriousness now, I want to also say how scared I am. I'm scared because as a late bloomer and with no job experience whatsoever, of course, there are so many doubts. You know, what if it's too late? What if nobody takes you, you know, for a job because you're so old? I'm just scared. I'm scared, really scared. But it doesn't matter whether I'm scared or not because I'm here now. I have to just make the best out of it. But it's just really easy to say like, hey bro, like, you know, just make the best out of it. Some days are easier than others. And that's why the only two things that I prioritize on is sleep and exercise. Like these are the two things that I have to have in place or else my mind just really consumes me. And it gets really dangerous because of all the doubts. And you know, when you're also single, that's also what I want to say is that it's really hard to rely on yourself on bad days. Well, some of you might be asking, why don't you get a girlfriend then, man? Because I know for a fact that when I do have a girlfriend, I devote a lot of time to her and I want to really devote a lot of time to making this dream come true. And I know that it is a sacrifice. Of course, I want to have a girlfriend, but it's just not a priority right now. Even though on some days it can get really, really freaking tough, I can 
only go through it. I have to. There is no other choice. Okay, I do have a choice, but this is the choice I made. Now, another topic that I want to touch upon slowly. Slowly, yes. Touch upon it slowly, bro, because why go fast, right? Distance relationship. Basically, I haven't heard from her since end of December. And she told me that she's going hermit. And I don't know how long that's going to be. Yes, I have someone that I love who is in Thailand and I'm in Germany. So there's that. But that is also pretty difficult. Last month, the beginning of the month of June, I went through depression for one week. And again, here on some days, it's still really bad for me and very uncertain because I don't know like when she's gonna text and how she's gonna feel and yes I am making it hard on myself because I do have a choice to just let go and here I am me just you know wanting to make this happen and the thing is like I still have so much hope and belief in her and me and us yeah, but I'm going to talk about that uh, in another video. So yeah, don't worry. I will release a storytelling video soon. It is on my mind. And like I said, I just had to memorize things. It's crazy. <laughs> and you know, I actually released a short on because um, I'm always documenting what I've memorized. And it's just basically you know, the notes I've taken and <laughs> the comments that I'm getting at the moment or the past two videos are like, okay, or did you weird? Or something along those lines. And I know I'm weird. <laughs> yeah, that's my update for this. And I'll see you when I see you.